Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and I continue with the Christmas tutorials because I want to give you the ideas to make your Christmas gifts for your friends and families. I'm showing this really easy step by step. It's like a beginner's level tutorial. This is the famous chenille stitch that you may see in other tutorials on the net as well. And uh, I'm sure you're going to be able to make it by yourself. I also have a tutorial for matching earrings, so you could check it out here at the eye icon and down there in description as well. And you could also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. And if you make beautiful jewelry following my tutorials, please share them on my pages on my social pages that I link down there in description. Down there I also have a full list of materials, link to my second channel, link for PayPal donations to develop my work and uh, link for my store. So thank you so much for watching. Now I will start with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are really easy stuff. I'm using 8 beads in three Christmas colors, green, red and golden and here I use lobster's claw clasp you could use other clasp you like and two jump rings this is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters you could use other beading thread of your choice like fire line or nylon thread whatever you prefer this is size 10 beading needle scissors and these are pliers and I use them to attach my clasp to my work I will take now a comfortable length of thread let's say an arm span of thread and later probably I'm going to be adding more thread and if you want to know how to add more thread I have a lot of tutorials where I'm showing how to add more thread and if you don't know ask me in the comments. So now I'm going to start. Okay guys and I'm starting by picking up four of these beautiful green beads. Okay I have my four here and I'm going to slide those down. Okay, I will stick my needle in my mat and here what I want to do is make a knot and I'm making it by making a loop going twice through the loop I've made pull. Then I will make one more knot. Okay, to be sure that it's all tight and secure. And now I have a cross of four beads or what is called a right angle weave. Okay. What I want to do is reinforce my work like this. Okay, now I have this. Now I'm going to take one red bead. I go here through the following green. Okay, then I exit here from this side. And what I want to take here is one golden bead, okay? Now I have this. Okay guys, and now I'm going to bend these two beads to the center of my work. And what I do is that I go here through this green and through the following red one in this direction. And bend these to the center. Now I'm going to take two green beads and I'm going through the following golden, just like that. Okay, now you see what I have from this side, four beads like in a cross and I'm exiting out of this golden. And I take two green beads and I go here through the red one. Okay. And of course I pull. Okay, this is the famous chenille stitch, guys, that I'm showing you here. It's really easy as you may see. Just repeat two steps and you have a beautiful beaded rope. Okay, so now I'm going through the first green bead here. And you see, now I have very much what I had in the beginning four uh, green beads in a cross and that is why here I'm adding one red bead 
and go in the next green one. And what I did in the beginning was that I skipped here this between my next two bits, not adding anything here, just going through the next green and I add one golden bead. Okay. And now if you can go through the next two green beads in one step just to make this one faster okay so now guys i'm going here through this green one sorry through this red one i meant and i'm taking two greens and i'm going through the golden then i'm taking two more greens Okay, so this is the beginning of my bracelet, guys. And here, at this step here is the beginning, the very beginning. I need to add one bead where I will attach my clasp. That is why I will continue beading in this direction, but now I want to return back to my work, to the beginning of my work through the very first cross of four beads i'm returning back okay and here what i wanna put is one bead where i will attach my jump ring and my clasp okay so i'm exiting out of this green bead as you may see and i'm going through the opposite one and in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay you see and now this sticks out and i will be able later to attach my clasp to it okay but in order to make it stronger i will go one more time through it or you could do three or more times whatever okay so this is the beginning and now I want to come back to my work. You see what cute flowers form from here and from here. And you will see it grow as well later. So now I'm going in this direction. It doesn't matter through which beads. Just go in this direction. And now I'm exiting through the first green. And I'm continuing what I did before. I'm taking one red bead go through the next green and through the following two okay through the two greens take one golden and go through the next two green beads you see a cute flower a cute flower a cute flower okay this is the chenille stitch then i'm going through this red one i'm taking two green beads okay going through the golden then i take two goldens go through the red okay i have this then i go through the first green take one red and go through the next two greens pull one golden the same way go through the next two greens go through the red take two greens go through the golden one row with two greens two greens and one row with red and golden this is all nothing different nothing difficult okay so i'm sure you're gonna be able to make this bracelet if you forgot how i'm doing it is just uh, rewind the video and repeat the steps from here until the end 
and when I'm ready I'll be back to tell you what's coming up next. Hey guys and I extended this bracelet, this Christmas red bracelet until the desired red. Okay and now I will take one bead here okay and as I'm exiting from this green bead you see this one um, first I reinforce those beads in a circle to make them stay next to each other and then I'm taking one green bead and I'm going through the opposite bead in the same direction where my thread is pointing to okay and now I'm going through this green bead through the red one more time and I could reinforce several times here to be sure that everything will be tight and secure and the clasp won't move okay then when you're ready go here to this side and you could make a knot and cut your thread and how are you doing this making a loop going once going second time through this loop you've made pull then you could repeat this knot several more times and when you're ready go through the following seed bead and cut your thread and remember never cut next to a knot okay i have my uh, christmas bracelet almost ready i will show you how to attach your clasp okay guys and now i'm attaching a clasp here if you want you might not attach a clasp but cl close it without the clasp and if you want to know how to do this i have a tutorial for earrings where i'm showing how to close this chenille stitch in a circle without uh, adding anything in between okay the earrings look like this uh, if you have seen them at the eye icon okay so if you want to know how to do this and this is a little bit stretchy so you will be able to make a beautiful bracelet and just stretch it and put it on your wrist if you want okay just to give you the idea and now here i'm attaching this clasp i'm squeezing back in the same direction where i opened this up and now guys I have my clasp here attached to my work and I will put here uh, another jump ring and I'll be back. Okay guys and now my Christmas red bracelet is ready. So if you like it and you want to see more and more videos like this it's a good idea to subscribe and hit the bell button and in this way you will know when I make matching jewelry to the ones that I have already done like the earrings that i mentioned before and i'm linking to in description and here you could also like share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is you could check my whole playlist with christmas gift ideas and tutorials uh, and uh, you could make your gifts for the holidays for your friends down there in description you will find a full list of materials link to my store link for paypal donations to develop this channel and link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful works that you did following my tutorials thank you so much for watching bye bye from me